When I used to teach at the College of Marin, I would teach uh, Introduction to Theater, and we'd always do a week on comedy. And I would show a 15-minute clip of the importance of being earnest. And it was the one thing I showed them that, without fail, they all said, can we please watch the rest of this at lunch? This is really a, a bucket list cast for me. I was lucky to get, these are all uh, Nevada Theatre Company regulars. They've been in plays here and they're experienced and they have just, uh, just taken this play and run with it. So, there you go. I think she's, can you still see the seats over here? I, I, um, well, there's yes. a bunch of lumber in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Conversation was king. And if you were really clever, you were invited to parties. You were invited to, you know, to, to being a, a higher part of society. To speak frankly, I am not in favor of long engagements. They give people the opportunity of finding out each other's character before marriage, which I think is never advisable. <laughs> One of the things that audiences took away from this 125 years ago was what a master of language Oscar Wilde was. He packed houses. He was really a legitimate superstar before the term was even coined. I'm sure people went away, just like if you go to a, con a comedy concert now, you go away saying your favorite jokes, and I'm sure they said their favorite sayings that they heard from him. I want our audience to have that same love for language, the same way my college students did it at College of Marin. Don't put down amateur theater because the Latin origin of that is people that love theater. It has people that are here because they're not being paid. They're here because they want to do this. This is how they want to spend their free time. And uh, I love that. <laughs>